Hi, I'm Janice. I'm the founder, and I would give Truly SEO a four out of five stars. And for more reviews like this, click on the link below. So before I chose Truly SEO, I was considering other software or plugins. I did think about Yoast SEO. It was a very popular plugin. I heard about Screaming Frog. I heard about SEMrush. But I think the difficulty using these software or tools was that they were not so user friendly for someone like me because I'm not trained in SEO per se. So what Skrilli did for me was it helped me to get a step-by-step -step approach into implementing SEO strategies, whereas the other software was a bit more complicated and more difficult for me to, to do and to implement. Some reasons was that once you install that plugin into your WordPress site, the dashboard tells you several goals to achieve, and that's very intuitive. So it gives you goals such as make your blog more visible or find some long tail keywords to search on. And there are several categories that you can work on, and it kind of rewards you as well each time you get an achievement done. So it's kind of like an incentive for you to work on your SEO strategies as well. So I think that's what I love about it, is that it's just intuitive, it's user friendly, it's good for beginners, and there is a step-by-step -step approach to implementing SEO strategies for a new beginner like me. I would say it was fairly easy for a beginner like myself because they actually give you how to do it tools as well. So for instance, if you were to say, I'd like to increase the visibility of my blog, you can click on how is it being done and they will guide you step by step and just have to implement it step by step. So it's very easy for a beginner as well. So some recommendations is for you to consider what platform are you using. If you're a Shopify user, a Wix user, or a other kind of platform user like Squarespace, then you can't use um, Scrolly SEO. It's meant for WordPress um, users only. It's a WordPress plugin is the first thing. Secondly, I would say is to check in to see what's your level of competence with SEO. If you're a very competent SEO user, you may jump straight to Yoast. Yoast has great reviews and it's really comprehensive as well. But for someone who's been like myself, I found it challenging to use Yoast. So if you're a new beginner, consider Scrolly SEO. And the third thing I would say is just to think about what's the level of SEO coverage you like. For instance, like um, Scrolly SEO provides very good SEO audits. Whereas um, a screaming frog does it too, but it's free. So think about what you want in the software and the tools. And are you willing to pay for them? And what's your level of confidence in using these tools?